welcome to have guitar. I hope you are doing great. I know I am. Now I said to myself, I'm not gonna make a video on this topic, but here I am. Hardly the first one to comment on it, but as you all know, Gibson has filed for chapter 11 of the US bankruptcy code, which uh, doesn't mean that they are going out of business, that they are reconstructing and blah blah blah, lots of uh, economic, legal, boring stuff. You can read it on screen, I'll put it out for you if you want to read it, possibly in the description of the video as well. So, the company has probably overstretched when trying to diversify the brand and possibly the quality of the musical instruments has been affected negatively. Uh, that's a commonly seen opinion online and otherwise. I can't really say the two goes hand in hand, but I do sympathize with the notion that Gibson should focus on doing great musical instruments. For me, it was the Les Paul model that got me interested in guitars to start with. Still one of my favorite models, but don't forget about models like the Firebird, the Explorer, the Flying V. Still classics and better looking than many modern takes of guitar design, uh, Gibson's Grouping V included. Uh, but today, sadly enough, if you pay $2200 for a Les Paul standard, that will not buy you an instrument that is better than the competitor's 1200 US dollars guitar. Today I have my Les Paul from 1976, I have my 2016 SG standard high performance and I love them both. But how about that GeForce tuning system? Uh, that's something that not everyone likes, I know that. But I like the fact that Gibson are trying to do something with the guitars, trying to evolve them. But they sure could have set the bar higher when it comes to both function and quality. And what if Joe Bonham as takes over? Isn't that a great conversation piece? Uh, well, the rumor is out there, uh, but whatever happens, I just want to see that Gibson survives. This is an, an iconic brand. They have a history going, you know, all the way back to the Stone Age when it comes to guitar history. And I want to see them continue to push out great guitars, great looking guitars, guitars that plays great and that are priced reasonably so that people can afford buying them. Well, anyway, that's my five cents. I hope you enjoyed that. My voice is running out, but I hope you liked the video. I hope you leave a comment on about Gibson, about the brand, about the guitars, about what's happening right now. Would love to read the comments and reply back to them, of course. And now, before my voice, <coughs> sorry, totally disappears, I would like to say thanks ever so much for watching my videos. Please do subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, you can still subscribe. Okay, can you hear that? I have to scream now because my voice is just fading. So, there's a new video out every Thursday. Thanks to all of you already subscribing. I love you all. And why do I do that? I don't know. Uh, so, stay great and play really hard until I see you next time. Goodbye.